at the risk of oversimplification, it's useful to think, to use some old vocabulary. The so-called first world, and the so-called second world, which was the world which of, the, of the Soviet Union and its, and its allies, and then there was the third world. It is the third world which, was, which is now referred to as the global south, which is increased, which continues to remain where non-alignment is most uh, fertile, where, where remains strongest. I, so I believe that it is, but the, the, the non-alignment today is not simply a, a continuation of the non-alignment which officially started in 1961 in Belgrade. It, because at that time, Tito and Yugoslavia were trying to be independent of the Soviet Union and uh, later on China, of course, became more independent of the Soviet Union. That was a particular type of non-alignment. At the same time, you have this birth of this non-aligned movement which involved many of the developing countries which, were, which was associated with the previous assertion of the Afro-Asian Solidarity Movement, which was born in Bandung in 1955. But this non-alignment which we are talking about today does not involve a diff, uh, you know, choosing between the US-led world capitalist system, if you will, and the Soviet-led claims of a socialist system. Today we don't have that. Pretty much the whole world is capitalist, although there are varieties of capitalism which we find in the world. What we find instead is a need for non-alignment precisely because since the end of the first Cold War, over three decades ago, we have seen first what we thought was a unipolar world, but increasingly challenges to that uni unipolar world. And those challenges are, have, have, they, they are not necessarily very coherent. They are not necessarily shared this, this, the same views of what the economic system should be and the political system should be, but they are all been antagonized by the dominant power. And so what has happened is there is, there is a new, what some people call a new Cold War emerging. But what we need in the world today is a strong imperative for peace. There is no imperative for peace because the prospect of war is very dangerous, especially when the greatest antagonists in the world today have nuclear, nuclear weapons. This is a very dangerous problem. And this is why, for me, especially speaking in, in Austria, is especially important because Austria remains the, the only neutral country left uh, in Europe. You know, what does it mean for, to be neutral and to be pacifist uh, in the 21st century, especially in the third decade of the 21st century? This is a very major challenge. Now, whether or not this is a reaction to globalization and deglobalization, I think globalization, it, the logic of globalization ended almost three decades, uh, two decades ago, around the turn of the century, because globalization at that time largely meant trade liberalization. And, and, the, and the push towards trade liberalization largely ended the very moment the World Trade Organization was created in 19, uh, 1995. Instead, what we find is what is called globalization today involves the intensification of communications, of the potential for what is called soft power, but also very importantly, financialization. That is the, the globalization of today, and that continues undoubtedly. But non-alignment today is not a reaction to that, because in a sense, all those processes are still going on, although they involve clashes between certain powers and certain interests, but those, they, those still carry on. So this non-alignment is really an imperative of the times, of the times of a non-systemic antagonism between, between the so-called East and the so-called West, but rather a challenge because of an inability to accept difference, an inability to recognize that diversity is very important for the sustenance and sustainability of human, of human life. And this is basically what we, what we find in the world today. So I would say that this non-alignment is a, is, is, a, is a creature of, this, of the times, but not simply a reaction, either a continuation of the past non-alignment or a reaction to the present, uh, uh, the recent period of globalization.